Now, if you're a gamer and have a laptop or desktop with an NVIDIA GPU, you absolutely need to turn on NVIDIA Reflex for better performance. But before I tell you why it's so important, we have to talk about how we measure the performance of a game on your computer. Now, most tech websites and reviewers like myself, we generally benchmark a gaming laptop on how fast the games can be played on it. And this is usually done by showing the FPS or frames per second of a title. Usually the higher the FPS, the better the performance. But there's one thing we never test in our reviews, and that's the latency. Latency is just as important and sometimes more important, especially if you're playing a first person shooter. The reason why we don't test the latency in our videos is because there are too many variables. We don't know how fast your internet connection is. We don't know what type of peripherals you are using, and we don't know what settings you play your games on. Now I've partnered with NVIDIA to help educate and optimize your system to reduce as much latency as possible for the best gaming experience. So what is latency? Well, imagine you're playing an online game on your laptop. Every move you make, jumping over obstacles, shooting targets, or running through a field requires precise timing, right? But sometimes things don't feel as smooth as they should. Maybe there's a delay when you click to shoot and the shot happens a split second too late. This delay is called latency, and it can come from different parts of the system you're using to play. There's different types of latency, but the main three ones we focus on are network latency, PC latency, and end-to-end -end system latency. Now we gotta zoom in a bit closer to your actual gaming device. PC latency is the time it takes your computer to process your command after you've clicked. Let's say you press the mouse button to shoot. The command goes from your mouse to your computer CPU, the central processing unit, which needs to understand what you've done and instruct the graphics card to show it on your screen. If your PC is powerful and up to date, this happens almost instantly. But if your system is slow, maybe the CPU is overloaded with other tasks or your graphics card isn't fast enough to handle the game's visual demands, there's a delay. It's like trying to open a web page on an old slow computer. The action is happening, but your PC is struggling to keep up. Think of network latency as the time it takes for your command to travel across the internet. Imagine your game's server is a distant city and your command, like shooting your weapon, is a letter you're mailing to that city. It has to travel over long distances, go through multiple checkpoints like routers and switches, and maybe even cross an ocean. All this takes time, and if there's traffic or bad weather, think network congestion or bad routing, the letter might be delayed even further. In the online gaming world, network latency is measured in milliseconds. It's often called ping, and the lower the ping, the faster your action reaches the server and comes back to you. If you have high network latency, it feels like your game character is living in slow motion compared to everyone else. Now here's where it all comes together. End-to-end -to -end system latency is the total delay from the moment you press a button to the moment you see the result on your screen. It's the entire journey from your mouse sending the command through your computer processing it to your display showing you what happened. So the big question, what is NVIDIA Reflex and why is turning it on so important? Well, normally when you click your mouse, the CPU lines up tasks in a queue for the GPU to render. This ensures the GPU always has something to work on, which helps boost frame rates. But it also causes a delay since frames are waiting their turn in that queue. NVIDIA Reflex changes the game by shrinking that queue and making sure the CPU and GPU are perfectly synced. This reduces the time your system spends waiting and also lightens the load on the CPU, allowing it to capture your mouse inputs at the last possible moment, right before they're needed. The best part is we can actually test the difference between having NVIDIA Reflex on and off. We're using the ASUS TUF A14, which has an NVIDIA RTX 4060. Now you might wonder why we're testing with an RTX 4060 instead of a 4090. Well, on lower end GPUs like the 4060, the CPU and GPU are more likely to become bottlenecked. This makes the improvements from Reflex more noticeable because the baseline latency is higher. But no matter which NVIDIA GPU you have, Reflex will still help improve your performance. Now there are three ways to capture the results. The most difficult and expensive method is using a high speed camera, which most of us, including myself, do not have. The second option, which is a bit easier, but still requires some setup, is NVIDIA's LDAT tool. I don't personally have it, and it's not something everyone has access to. But the third and easiest option, which anybody can try, is downloading and using NVIDIA's FrameView software. 
Plus, it's absolutely free. Now, not every game offers NVIDIA Reflex as an option, and honestly, it's probably not that important for games like SimCity or Stardew Valley. But for multiplayer first-person games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, and even demanding single-player titles like Cyberpunk 2077, enabling it can make a massive difference. I'll place a list in the description of games where it has the biggest impact. But for now, I want to show you the difference in four games I tested. Now, for those of you wondering about the difference between NVIDIA Reflex and NVIDIA Reflex Plus Boost, Boost Mode is made for gamers who want the absolute lowest latency possible. When you switch it on, Reflex fine-tunes everything for max responsiveness, cutting down latency by adjusting how the CPU and GPU work together. In some cases, you might notice a small bump in power usage or even a slight FPS drop. But the trade-off is worth it if you're playing CPU-heavy games like Fortnite or Valorant where every millisecond counts. The first game I tested was Apex Legends, which is extremely well optimized. With graphics set to high and running at 2560 by 1600, I was getting enough FPS to match my display's refresh rate. With Nvidia Reflex off, my latency averaged around 24 to 26 milliseconds, which is pretty good. But as soon as I enabled Nvidia Reflex, I reduced overall latency to around 20, shaving off a solid five to six milliseconds. Interestingly, Nvidia Reflex plus Boost gave the best results, dropping latency all the way down to 12 to 13. Overwatch 2, on the other hand, averaged higher latency with NVIDIA Reflex off, hovering around 35 to 40 milliseconds. Not as good as Apex Legends, but when I activated NVIDIA Reflex, that latency dropped to 22 to 23, which is nearly a 50% reduction, which is pretty insane. Enabling boost further reduced latency by another three to four milliseconds, bringing it down to an average of 19. Diablo 4, an online multiplayer game, averaged 63 milliseconds of latency with NVIDIA Reflex off. But when I activated NVIDIA Reflex, that latency dropped to 35 milliseconds, which again is almost a 50% reduction. Enabling boost further reduced the latency by another three to four milliseconds, bringing it down to an average of 33. Surprisingly, NVIDIA Reflex helps with single player first person games like Cyberpunk 2077. Without NVIDIA Reflex, latency was averaging a crazy 82 milliseconds. Once I enabled Reflex, it dropped to around 45 to 48, cutting almost 50% off. With NVIDIA Reflex Plus Boost, it shaved off a few more milliseconds, but it's hard for Boost to do much more since Cyberpunk is so GPU intensive. Now, there are other things you can do to test out latency, and if you're one of the lucky individuals who own a G-Sync 360 hertz monitor compatible with NVIDIA's Reflex Analyzer, you can go deeper and measure your mouse and display latency. But let's be real, not everyone has one of these monitors just lying around. There are a few things you can do right now to improve your system's latency. First, always play your games in full screen mode. Playing in windowed mode prevents the display driver from having full control, which will increase latency and reduce your FPS. Number two, invest in a good gaming mouse. A wired mouse is typically better. Most wireless gaming mice with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle have an average latency of 1.1 milliseconds or more. In comparison, a wired mouse like my Razer Viper Pro averages between 0.3 to 0.8 milliseconds. Your display's refresh rate also impacts latency. A 60 hertz display adds about 17 milliseconds of latency. But if you jump to 144, it drops to five, and with 360, it goes down even further to three. Lastly, get physically connected to your router. A wired connection is always better than a wireless one. It will help reduce your network latency. So here's the bottom line. If you're serious about gaming and want to absolutely make sure your system is performing at its best, enabling NVIDIA Reflex is an absolute no-brainer. It's not just about pushing out more frames per second, it's about making sure every move you make in-game feels as responsive as possible. Whether you're playing competitive shooters like Apex Legends or even massive demanding games like Cyberpunk 2077, reducing latency can give you an advantage. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, enable it, make sure it's enabled, usually it is by default, but check to make sure and you guys let me know if it makes a difference for you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want more information about NVIDIA Reflex, you can find a link in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.